Hello there. In this video, we're going to be talking about the natural response of RL and RC circuits. Now, when we're talking about natural response, we're talking about the current and the voltage that arise from such uh, an inductor or a capacitor releasing their energy. Now, we talked about in the last video passive elements. Passive elements cannot create energy, but they can store it. And when we're talking about natural response, we want to see what the circuit does, what's the current relationship, what's the voltage relationship when that inductor or capacitor is releasing its energy. So, in this video, we're going to be using Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law to find the current relationship in the inductor and the voltage relationship in the capacitor. Let's start off with the an inductor and in our first circuit we have a uh, current source a resistor and an inductor and we have this switch here now this current source will charge this an inductor and then we'll turn it off we'll, we'll, we'll disconnect this part this left side of the switch uh, of the circuit off and we'll be and what will remain is this inductor and this resistor. Now, what is the current? What is the current that's flowing through this resistor? Well, to find that, we have to use Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now, when you use Kirchhoff's voltage law, let's take it from um, from the inductor. Now, the inductor, the voltage through the inductor, if we recall from last video, is L di dv uh, over dv uh, di over dt right and then that would be um, flowing from plus plus here and to minus this current flows from plus to minus and then through this resistor what's the voltage through the resistor well if remember Ohm's law V equals IR so uh, the voltage through a resistor is the resistance times its current and this is equal to zero since the currents are going through drops. Okay, through these uh, devices. Okay, what we do here is we subtract both sides by R, I, and then we divide it both sides by DT. So we have so we have uh, DT cancel out DT here, and what we're doing here is we're solving a first order differential equation. Back from calculus, uh, to solve first order differential equations, we we uh, separate uh, all the variables, all, uh, all the variables um, of the same variable onto one side and all the others on the other side. So this is what we're doing here. So we have di divided by i, divided both sides by i. And we're left with minus R over L dt. Okay. Now we can integrate both sides using x as a dummy variable and y as a dummy variable. Uh, the integral of dx over x is the natural log. And when we solve this integration, it's upper limit minus the lower limit. If we remember our natural logs, uh, in special cases, you, you're dividing. You're essentially dividing when you subtract natural logs. And when we take the integral of dy, we just have simply y, and take the upper limit minus the lower limit, which is t. Okay. And we, um, we, uh, where is that? Uh, we take the inverse of the natural log, the exponential to both sides, and we'll find out the current relationship of, of of this this current this current this current going through this resistor over time over time of uh, in a simple RL circuit okay and notice that uh, at this L over R here L over R is our time constant tau well we'll use this um, uh, especially when we do uh, sequential switching We'll have to find tau, L over R, and this resistor corresponds to this resistor, 
and more complex circuits, this R would be our R7. R7. Um, we'll talk about that later. And so you just need to know that the current through this resistor over time is its initial current times the exponential of E to the minus T over L divided by R. Okay? Now let's look at what uh, the natural response of an RC circuit. Now an RC circuit, now we want to find the same thing, the current relationship and the voltage relationship when a uh, capacitor is releasing energy. So what we have here, there's a voltage source, the resistor, and we have a switch here that would um, essentially this voltage source will charge this capacitor and this capacitor when under steady state for a long long time will pop open and we disconnect this left side of the switch and we allow this capacitor fully charged to release its energy through this resistor now we want to find the voltage because we want to find um, uh, the voltage relationship and and to do that we use uh, Kirchhoff's current law, okay? Kirchhoff's current law. The current of a uh, capacitor is C dB over dT, and the current through a resistor is Ohm's law, V over R equals its current. So, same thing what we did with the inductor. We separate all the variables on one side and all the other variables on the other side. We subtract both sides by V over R, V over R, Divide both sides by C, and then um, taking this V, divide both sides by V, multiply both sides by DT, integrate both sides, and you'll have the same thing where we have the natural log of its final voltage divided by its initial voltage, and minus equals minus one over RCT. Okay, and we and when we simplify this equation, we'll have our final equation which is the voltage of an RC circuit, the natural response, its initial voltage, E to the minus T over RC. And this is over time, for when it's fully charged, to um, when it released all its energy, okay? And notice that RC will become our tau, our time constant. Now, our time constant dictates how much voltage is being released. If you have a greater time constant, then volt amount of voltage release is greater. Or is a lot faster over time. And uh, and, and similar to the RL circuit, uh, if we have a greater tau, we'll, we'll have more current being released over time. Okay, um, something to remember. Uh, now, once we have V, it's easy to find the current relationship using Ohm's law. V equals I R. Okay, simply just substitute this V into here and divide by R, and you have the current relationship. Okay, it's simple as that. Um, something to remember is that when we do circuit analysis, Always find currents through inductors and voltage through a voltage across capacitors. Always find currents through inductors and voltages across capacitors. Okay. Thank you for watching.